Oh, banana, how I've longed for this experience. Now that I own you, I will never leave your side. I will always treat you with respect and love and compassion. And although Fortnite has been straying farther away from everything good, you remain great. You remain beautiful. You remain pure. Banana Man, be with me forever. So guys, I haven't been able to record and play very often. Just a whole lot of bullshit kept on happening. First, my mom took away my PlayStation because I threw up on her bed. So to get back at her, I told all of her Facebook friends she was an anti-vaxxer. Then she took it away again. But I got it back, and that's all that really matters. It was a long stretch of not being able to play Fortnite. But privileges regained, boys. Privileges regained. So my Gam Gam's in town, and recently we were just having dinner, just talking, and somehow the subject of pedicures came up. And me, I've never gotten a pedicure. I've always kind of neglected my feet. I realized that I never washed my feet. So when I was taking a shower later that night, I was like, yeah, I'll just I'll wash my feet, you know? Crazy. I don't know, figured I'd just be a little adventurous and try something out of the ordinary. You only live once, you know? So I decided yeah, I'm gonna wash my feet in the shower. I'm just gonna fucking send it. Oh well, might be a little bit crazy, might be dangerous, who cares? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try to break my way out of this little anxiety bubble that I stay in, where I never do anything except just stare at this banana guy in the loading screen for 45 minutes. Like every day, I, I seriously do that. I just, I just look at this guy for 45 minutes. It calms me down. I'm gonna do something adventurous. So I got in the shower and like, I don't know how to wash my feet in the shower. Do you take a seat on the floor? Do you balance on one leg as you wash each foot individually? Like, I don't know how you did it. So what I decided to do was I kind of leaned up against the, the wall and stood on one foot and washed each foot individually. The first one was no problem. I lathered that SOB up with soap, rinsed it off, chewed on it a little bit, you know, just to make sure it was all clean. And then the other one is where I had a problem. I knew soap was slippery, but I didn't realize how slippery it was. So when I switched feet, I was standing on the one that had soap on it and I just fucking fell. I just fell over like a fool. I fell in the shower. I was just lying on the floor, ass up, near tears. What an embarrassment. That was already a terrible bathroom experience. Well, first of all, when I was going pee before, somehow like, I guess I wasn't lined up correctly, or like maybe I had a half chub or something. I don't know, somehow I just missed the toilet. I just missed the toilet. And it's like, if I hit the toilet seat, I would have wiped it up, you know? But because I peed and it just missed the toilet, I'm not gonna bend over and wipe it up. Let's see, what else happened? I watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Pretty spooky, but also pretty neat. There is one thing that I have to say about it though. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for Asian representation in movies. Like, I mean, Rose was my favorite character in Last Jedi, I think one of the only few good things about The Last Jedi. But I think that Oompa Loompas being the first major roles landed by Asians is pretty fucked up. I don't know, just seemed a little bit sus to me. Anyway, pretty good film nonetheless, just don't think that that was like a very good decision. You know, figure I'd give a little update on the whole SEX situation. Still haven't done it. Hopefully someday. I have noticed that I've been looking at the Costco chicken bakes a little bit more intimately than I usually do. So I feel like it needs to happen pretty soon. I just don't want to be like one of those kids that does something fucking weird like that. I don't want to be one of those kids that like fucks some inanimate object because that would be weird. But honestly, if I don't, if I don't soon, then like it's not that sad. Really? I mean, well, so recently I was riding the ferry, and what a ferry is, is a big boat. And what a big boat is, um, fuck. It's actually really hard to describe, like, simple things like this. Um, anyway, I was riding this ferry. That's how people in my town commute to the large city near me. So I was riding this ferry, going to a concert, and these two girls were just, like, walking loops around the ferry. People do that. They, they don't like to sit down, so they, they like to walk loops. And these two girls, I notice... They walked past me once, and I was like, oh, those girls are, like, uh, pretty cute. I don't know. Like, maybe there could be something there. Maybe I try to talk to them. Don't fuck it up this time. Don't cry. Like, basic stuff. I don't know. That was just going through my head. And then they turn back and walk past me again. So at this point, I'm, like, kind of suspicious. I was like, there's something going on here, you know? I'm sitting at about a half chub at this point, just kind of excited. Maybe these girls will talk to me. And then they walk by a third time. And at this point, I'm like, okay, something is actually fucking up. Like, these girls want to have sex with me. They want to have my offsprings. And honestly, I was accepting it at that point. I was like, man, I really, like, 
wasn't ready for this today, but I mean, this is what happens if you're a fucking player, I guess. I guess I'm just a fucking pimp. Anyway, on the last time when they walk by, they get a little bit past me. And I was like, okay, you know what? If they walk by me again, I'm definitely saying something. But as I was having that thought, one of the girls says to the other, yeah, he's really not that cute. And then they started giggling. Now, I'm not suicidal. I would never do something like that because I'm a pussy. But if I were to stub my toe shortly after that, who knows? <laughs> who knows, boys? I was well past the 13th reason at that point. I'm thinking that like, if it doesn't happen within the next year, then I'll just be a monk, like a Buddhist monk. I'm not really sure what they do, but I'm pretty sure they don't have sex. It saved me the embarrassment, you know, of like somebody asking me, hey, have you ever had sex? And I say no. But then I get to like turn it around and say, but I'm a monk, you know? They'll probably be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I heard those guys never fuck. But I'm trying to stay optimistic. Maybe someday. All I want is a big busty milf like Julia Ann to just lie with me. We wouldn't even have to make love. Someone who can just be next to me and I could rest my head on her chest as she tells me everything is going to be okay. That's kind of what Banana Man has become for me in a way. Someone who I can be myself around, who I can let my guard down, who I can be a freak around sometimes, you know, when nobody's around or looking, but also who I can be so intimate with and so vulnerable. Someone who doesn't call my pecker the one inch pinch. Someone who loves me for me and not my body. This is my pain. This is my life. Will it get better? Will things go right? I promise to love you. I'll be your wife. Now will you love me? Tell me, Banana Man, will you love me?